Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Thousands gathered yesterday to pay their respects to a fallen state trooper. Nicholas Clark was killed last week during a standoff. Reporter Rachel Madej has a story. On Sunday, July 8th, thousands paid their respects to the beloved son, brother, friend, and trooper that was Nicholas F. Clark. And this is a terrible loss to the state police, obviously to Nick's family, but um, I also want people to know what a terrible loss this is to this area here. You know, Nick was a great guy, as the superintendent said. He, he's one of the best of the best for us. Even with only three years on the road, he still was establishing himself as, as a great trooper, one, one of our best guys. The service spoke not only to the profound impact Trooper Clark had on everyone that knew him, but also to the unique bond between members of the law enforcement community. I graduated the, uh, the basic school with Nick, so the 26-week academy there. Uh, great guy, you know, always one of those guys we've been looking to uh, for advice to help us out through the academy and even on the road as a trooper. We're here for each other and to help cope with us. So one officer or trooper that's lost in the line of duty, it's, it's felt, you know, what doesn't matter whether you're a local or state police officer, we're all considered one blue family. Let's also take a moment to remember uh, what the men and women of law enforcement do and how dangerous the world has become. And maybe we can each do our own part to make it a little easier, a little simpler, a little more loving community. That's my hope today. Can you share it with us? Trooper, Nicholas F. Clark, Shield 5528, end of watch, July 2nd, 2018. The men and women of the New York State Police are forever grateful and proud to have worked with Trooper Clark, West TV. We have the watch. Can it be well? Several thousand law enforcement officers were present today at Trooper Nicholas Clark's funeral services. That number includes members of the NYPD and troopers from at least 20 other states. In Alfred, I'm Rachel Madej with Big Fox News. A man found guilty of murder in May was sentenced today. Kamani Meadows has been sentenced to a maximum of 25 years to life on second degree murder charges after he killed a Bronx woman and left her body on Draught Hill Road in Elmira back in 2016. According to Whedon Wedmore, the Shimon County District Attorney, Meadows shot Robin Roper five times, including once in the head. Meadows is already behind bars, serving a 23-year prison sentence for attempted murder. In that case, Meadows shot a man inside of a John Street home in Elmira. Warm and sunny today, but rain could be on the way. Meteorologist Kim Walker is in next with your Big Fox forecast. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, welcome back, everyone. We are expecting another warm day with temperatures back into the 80s for tomorrow. However, as the cold front comes through, we do have the possibility of some showers and some thunderstorms. But then on Wednesday, behind that cold front, things will start to dry out. So we should see plenty of sunshine and temperatures will remain mild, but slightly cooler than on Tuesday. And it looks like the quiet weather will remain through the end of next week. So we are expecting lots of sunshine, temperatures very pleasant with high in the upper 70s and uh, lower 80s. So we are expecting a warm weather to kind of just stay put for a while, just about average temperatures for this time of year. And it looks like uh, we are going to see that cold front come through. So as we make our way into tomorrow, you may want to keep your umbrella handy because we are expecting a few showers and thunderstorms. So here's a look at your forecast. Tonight, we drop down to around 59 degrees, so it may feel a little bit chilly out there. 62 degrees in Watkins Glen, Corning around 59 degrees. May 
mainly clear conditions tonight, but then we are expecting increasing cloud cover for tomorrow as a cold front will be swinging through the area. So even though we're going to see an increase of cloud cover and also the possibility of rain, we are expecting temperatures to remain warm with highs in the mid 80s overall. And then as we make our way toward the end of the week, we are going to see cooler temperatures return to the area. So we are expecting the possibility of just lots of sunshine, ample sunshine as we make our way toward the end of the week. And so uh, we are expecting nice weather as we end the week with that cold front coming through. It's going to bring drier air, uh, won't uh, keep the humidity around. So that would be pretty nice, but it looks like we have to deal with the rain as we move into tomorrow. So it looks like our graphics once again aren't going <laughs> to advance there, no. but uh, overall it's going to be pretty nice. All right, thanks, Kim. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.